It's just a, I don't want to call it Chinese chicken salad. Oh, it's just like my popo made it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make Chinese chicken noodle salad or some version of that. The only reason I thought of that is from making that carbonara, I had all this shake. Yes, yeah, shake. If you know, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna deep fry this so I have something like something crispy. I have a head of lettuce, I have some scallions, I have an orange, and I have uh, a rotisserie chicken. It is not Costco, and anyone says that I hate Costco, you're ridiculous. None of this fucking journal has even read the podcast. Shame on them. I do believe that this salad has oranges in it, but um, I think they're usually canned. So I'm gonna use this as the base to make a vinaigrette. Rice wine vinegar. Some tamari. I like to cook with tamari at our restaurants in general because of it just you know, the flavor difference is somewhat manageable or noticeable, but it makes dietary restrictions a lot easier. A little sesame oil. I'm using agave, but any anything sweet would work. A little olive oil. I have grapeseed oil too, but not many homes have grapeseed. I like making salad dressings with grapeseed quite a bit. Um, it's a neutral oil. It's also a wonderful oil to cook in, but a lot of people it's, it's also very expensive, or can be. It's a great oil to cook in because it has a high smoke point. If I didn't have soy sauce, I would have just done a package of the soy scallion. In fact, I'll just make one right now. Delicious. Both really good. But again, like having stuff on hand that you know is good is, is makes cooking at home much easier. I love iceberg. It's hard to beat the crunchy crisp. Shredded. Really fantastic. I, I just don't know why you can't get it at like a salad bar, one of the salad bars I like to frequent. I'm always bummed that they never carry iceberg. So I shredded one half, and this one I'm just gonna tear into bits. So you have different textures. So this is the noodle shake. I'm just gonna deep fry it. I've never done this before, but we'll see what happens. And I'm just cooking off some rice for, because I know I'm gonna use it later. See, all rotisserie chicken cold doesn't taste good to me. It's not good. It just isn't good. But you have to hide it in sauce or something that's gonna give it some moisture because it's technically, it's really dry. That's why shredding it and putting it in a salad dressing makes a lot of sense. So I am gonna shred this and put it into the salad dressing to sort of hydrate a little bit, make sure that it has a little bit of flavor. I'm not scraping the metal. I'm really working on a silicone spoon just like this for, these, for this purpose exactly. Um, a lot of things that are silicone are rather large and you can't do delicate work with it, but I'm using a spoon and I'm sort of just barely touching the surface.
Tastes way better. <laughs> way better. Now, this is something I would do at home. If I had any leftover noodles, I would just add that as the base. So while, before I'm plating the salad, um, do we have any of those noodles left over? If I had any noodles cold, I'm always gonna put it at the base. Cause it's just a nice filler. I could have clearly have used this vinaigrette instead. If you didn't have soy sauce, you could make it with the noodle packets, no problem. I mean, that's what I want to eat for lunch. This is legit delicious. I fried some noodle shake. You got iceberg lettuce, you got spring onions. You can really throw whatever the fuck is in your refrigerator. I supreme some an orange. I said uh, Momo rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, and tamari, and a little agave. So, awesome.